Hello, my name is Dan Hodorova and I am the coordinator of the MPR project NP size, improved traceability chain of nanoparticle size measurement. In the following, I would like to give you an overview of the project and I start with the consortium. We have national metrological institutes and designated institutes from Germany, France, UK, Holland and Belgium. We have SEA as a partner from France. We have Poland, a company from France specialized in software development. We have the Standardization Institute from Germany, DIN, and we have University of Turin from Italy. The project has started in May 2018 and will be finished in June 2021. We have three work packages in NP size. First work package is dedicated to the evaluation of the performance of the characterization methods with special emphasis on the traceable size. This means we have considered from the beginning in the project on only those measurement methods able to provide a traceable nanoparticle size. And these are these techniques are electron microscopy, SEM, TEM, TSEM, AFM, atomic force microscopy, and SAC, small angle X-ray scattering. We have to consider not only the size of the nanoparticles, but also the shape, the size, polydispersity, and the nanoparticle number concentration. One uh, special challenge in this work package is to extend the size traceability working well already for the spherical nanoparticles to the non-spherical nanoparticles of more complex shape. Second work package is focused on the development of reference nanoparticles. And we have decided at the beginning of the project to develop such reference nanoparticles which are not yet available on the market. This means we have nano cubes, nano platelets, nano B pyramides, elongated nanoparticles different size polydispersities and well-controlled nanoparticle number concentrations. You have an overview of the NP size nanoparticles developed already in the two and a half year of project. And you recognize in the upper part the different shapes Nanoplatelets, B pyramids, elongated titanium dioxide, but also gold as a second uh, material with different uh, shapes of the nanoparticles, nanorods, and uh, very nice um, monodisperse nanocubes. In the bottom part of the slide, you see spherical silica and gold nanoparticles, but with different size polydispersity. We have monodispersed nanoparticles, we have bimodal nanoparticles with different uh, concentration ratio between the two modes, 1 to 1 and 10 to 1. And we have the last technical work package, 3. Modeling and development of measurement procedures. On the one side, we have physical modeling of the signals for all the selected measurement techniques. On the other side, we use machine learning algorithms with the final goal of producing measurement procedures to be applied in a service laboratory outside and after the end of the project. 
We also we are also working to fuse data gained with different method, methods in this project and put together the good lateral information of electron microscopy with the height provided by AFM or to put together the uh, shape of the nanoparticles as provided by electron microscopy together with the measurement of size and number concentration in liquid suspension form by Sachs. In the last part of my short overview, I would like to advertise a new uh, project or two new projects uh, to be started in short under the platform uh, VAMAS. This is a similar platform with ISO, uh, but it is the pre-standardization phase, so it is the right place and scene to organize and participate, please participate in such interlaboratory comparisons with samples from NPSIS. The first project is based on the bimodal silica nanoparticles where we want to measure the size of the um, nanoparticles and the number concentrations as said of the two different modes in two different concentration ratios, 1 to 1 and 10 to 1. And in the second interlaboratory comparison to be launched in short, we have selected titania nanoparticles of bipyramidal shape. This is for some of you uh, well-known sample already used in the case study H in the recently published ISO standard 31363 on nanoparticle size and shape measurement by TEM. In the ISO standard, BAM was again the coordinator, the organizer of the case study H and we have prepared all the nanoparticles for, for all the participants on the substrate for the TEM and distributed them to the participants. Now in this VAMA study we want to go one step farther. It was planned so also before the start of the ISO standard and this time we want to distribute the liquid suspension with the titanium nanoparticles and also preparation protocols together with measurement and analysis protocols for the all selected techniques and more. As said, techniques or methods not only our electron microscopy, AFM, SACS and SP, ICPMS, but also other techniques conventionally measuring uh, the size and were able to measure the size and the nanoparticle concentration, like DLS, PTA, and so on. We have already prepared 200 amples with one milliliter for the silica samples and two milliliter for the titania sample. Please have a look or follow the uh, VAMAS webpage where, where you will see more information on the Two, on these two interlaboratory comparisons of size and for even more information published information from size just look for size on the web and you will see our BAM page of the project or the Euromet size page. Finally, I'd like to encourage you to also to have a look uh, of the other videos of my colleagues in the training course dedicated to SACS and uh, I'd like finally to thank on behalf of the consortium I'd like to thank to the European Metrology Programme
for funding this project.